In today's video, we'll talk about 8-bit shift in registers. Those comes in handy when we need more inputs. With the price of 4 GPIOs, we can gain 8 inputs and even more if we daisy chain a few. After the last video covering the output shift register, I was asked if there are similar input ICs as well. So this inspired me to make this tutorial and I'll be using the SN548C165 with a Wemos D1 Mini. We'll use this great example in the Arduino Playground as a reference, link in the description. Let's take a look at the pinout of the IC. There is a link to the IC datasheet in the description. We got the A through D and E through H, those are the input pin. We got the load pin, the clock pin, the clock enable pin, and the QH, which is the output pin, which will be our input. We'll get the data from here. One more thing I want to uh, remind is the SCR, which is what allows us to connect the QH of the next IC to here, and I'll cover it once I show you more than one IC. The next step is to hook things up. We connect eight momentary push buttons to A through H pins, adding a 10K pull down resistors as well. And the other side of the buttons goes to the 3.3 volt. The load pin goes to D5, clock enable pin goes to D6, data pin goes to D7, clock pin to D1, and power VCC to 3.3 volt, and a, and a GND to ground. Before we review the code, let's upload it and open the serial monitor. As you can see, every press on the button I make on the board shows in the serial monitor. In the code, we have the number of ICs, in our case is one. Then we have the data width, which is the number of ICs times eight bit, of course. We define two time intervals and the data type of the data we read. I will cover this later on. Next are the pinouts and two variables that are used in the loop. In the setup, we begin serial, define the mode of the pins, toggle the clock and the load pin to reset the IC, using the return value from the read shift regs function to set value in pin values variable. We display the output using display pin values and save pin value to the old pin value variable. We read the value of the pins into the pin values variable. And if the old value and the new value do not match, we output the pin values and set the current pin values in the old pin values variable. In the read shift regs, we define variables for the data. We toggle the clock enable and the load pins to latch the data in the IC. We then look for data width times, reading the state of the data pin into the bit val and binary or it with the rest of the data. We toggle the clock pins to get the next data bit. The last thing the function does is to return the bytes val variable value. The display pin values function just loops over each bit of the pin values global variable and output high low according to its value. If you've never done binary math before, I got a video on the subjects, links on the screen and in the description below. As I mentioned before, you can daisy chain the IC. In order to do so, you will need to connect the IC to the clock, clock enable and load pin wires and connect the QH pin of the second IC to this SCR, the serial pin of the first IC. I soldered this board long time ago. It contains three daisy changed IC with toggle switches. We adjust the numbers of ICs to three and the data type from int to long since now we are going to read 24 bits and not and an int is only 16 bit. Let's upload the code and see how it works. And as you can see, each change of any of the toggle switches will show in the serial. I hope this video will help you in your next project. If you didn't do it till now, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, leave a comment and see you next time.